raining, raining, raining. Five words, custard creams, iron brew, phenomenal. What's up everybody? Those of you who don't know me, my name is Ryan. Welcome to my first vlog. Well, probably not first. I've done quite a few before, but I think this is my first vlog where I'm actually talking to you guys. If that's, yeah, where I'm talking to you guys. Unfortunately, we are not driving today. I mean, besides the fact it's raining, which I'm pretty sure you can hear, the car isn't running properly. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what happened to it, I'm gonna be honest with you. It starts and everything, but I'm hearing this knocking noise. It's nothing to do with the engine, but you know, when, you, when I'm driving, I hear this knocking noise somewhere. I know it's not the, it's not the coilovers I have. The, the coilovers are perfectly fine, but it's just like really bugging me. So I've just put the car off the road for a little bit until I figure out what's going on with it. But yeah, I mean like, I originally wanted to make my first video where I'll be driving and I'll show you, you know, some nice, outside you know i'll be outside and i'll be talking to you guys but unfortunately that's not happening and i really want to do this vlog my first vlog my first ever vlog regarding the s2k so i was like you know what i've got some previous footage which i can show you during the time i'm talking to you guys um where we'll be discussing a few things not just about this specific s2000 but more specifically how and why i fell in love with a car like s2000 how i came across my first ever s2000 it's, it's a little bit of a little bit of a history a little bit of a recap where you know i'll talk about how how i actually saw my first s2000 when i when i was living in london about this is 2003 late 2003 um i used to walk to school i used to walk to school and every friday i used to see this guy wash his moon rock gray i think that's the right way of saying it it was a moon rock gray s2000 i used to see him wash it every friday uh friday morning as a matter of fact like half seven eight o'clock i noticed him for like about four months it was i think the second week of december or something like that he was washing it again on friday and I, that i think that specific day i was walking with my dad so i go to my dad i was like yo i'm gonna go talk to this guy because I want to know, why is he washing his car every Friday? I mean, this is minus two outside. What is he doing? So I went up to him and I just asked him, I was like, how come you wash your car? And I didn't say morning or hello. You know, I was a little kid. I was pretty I was rude, I think. I was pretty rude back in the day. And I was, I was like, why are you washing your car? He's like, why are you washing your car? It's super cold outside. And, you know, like, what's going on? And he goes to me, yo, this is my pride and joy. And... You know, I've I've never I've never heard those words before from anyone. Pride and joy for a for an object. So I was like, eh, what do you mean? It's your pride and joy. Like I don't get it. What do you mean? Because you know, I I love this car. I'm like I love this car. I love the way it drives. I love the way it sounds. I love the way you know everything to do with this car. I was like, yeah. I mean, it's a it's a pretty good looking car. I mean, I I really like it. But you know, like what's so special that you think it's your pride and joy? So. He popped the bonnet first for me. So he opened the, opens the bonnet and the first thing I see is the red valve cover. And I'm like, dude, I've never seen one before. And he's like, really? I was like, yeah, I've, I've never seen one before. I'm like, it, this is a beautiful looking engine. And you know, it was mint. When I mean it was mint, it was clean as hell. Uh, like I've never seen like something like that before in my life. So, and bear in mind, I'm like 13 years old at that time. So or 13 or 14 years old. So, you know, then he goes like, oh, let me show you the interior. And we pop in the car and it's all red. Everything is red. I've never seen a car before with red leather in my life, let alone sat in one. So he's like, oh, come pop in. I sat in the car and I'm like overall really impressed. It's two seater. It's a convertible. It looks very sick and slick. The interior is like, I love the interior and you know, and bear in mind, you know, I'm, I'm a really small guy. So back in then I was even smaller and I go to him. I was like, dude, where's your speeder? And he goes, oh, let me show it to you. So he pops the key in and he turns the, turns it on. And I see the speedo just go back. I'm like, dude, that's well cool. Can you do it again? And he switches it off, does it again. Then I made him do it again. I think I probably made him do like three, four times, four, four, maybe five times. And 
it, I was so like impressed the way the speedo looked. It was so cool. Like I've never seen something like that before. And then you know, like I was like, oh, are you gonna start the car? He goes, yeah, yeah, I'll start the car for you. I was like, so he, you know, starts, puts the ignition on again, and I'm like, okay, it's about to start. And this guy just moves his hand around on the right and tries to press the button, and and I'm like, dude, what's, what? I'm like what? I've never seen that before in my life. Like what? What is this? I'm like proper god smacked, and you know, he just pops the. He just turns on, presses the button, engine comes on, and it's disappointing. There's no sound. You know, I thought, you know, it'll be louder and, you know, something like that. But there was nothing. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't excited. Like, I was like, eh, I was like, that, that's really dry. Like, what's, what's going on? And, you know, like, I was a bit disappointed at that time. And I love, you know, like, if you look at it overall, I love the engine. I love the outer, like, the way it looked from outside. I love the interior. But as soon as it turns on the engine, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm like, dude, I thought it was a cool car. It's supposed to be loud. You know, because you said to me, it's a sports car. He didn't say that to me. But, like, this is in my head. I'm, like, believing, like, this is a sports car. It's not supposed to be like that. And it... And, you know, like, it was just at that point, like, I was just a bit upset and, you know, a bit disappointed. And I, I just questioned him. I was like, why is, why does it sound like, it just sounds like any other car. It's like, there's no sound to it. It's supposed to be a sports car. And he goes to me, he goes, it sounds like a sports car when it needs to be. Not just randomly. It will just turn on the car that it will just sound like a sports car. It just needs to be a sports car when it needs to be. It doesn't need to be a sports car all the time. And I'm like, mm okay that don't make sense to me but okay i believe you and he goes how about this i goes let me drop you off to school and you know you will you will find out why i was like okay so this guy I, I go to my dad i was like dad i'm gonna jump with this guy so i was like you know okay let's do this drives me to school on the way there's like a little dual carriageway it's like a two-lane road um it's hardly ever busy at, at that time it was hardly ever busy now it's like full-on congested i mean then again we're talking about london um so goes we, we were on the road and downshifts into second and you know he puts his foot down and it was phenomenal from the speedo the, the way the speedo was just revving and revving and revving like I, f I feel like it's never going to end and it just kept going and then he shifts into third and it's the same i would say sensation of being a passenger in this car i get at that time i was a passenger but i still get the same sensation like when i'm driving this car when i shift from second to third or fourth like you know when it when it stays in we take and you're revving it all the way to 9000 rpm it's just so phenomenal even for a you know a lot of people and to be honest i i i i like supercharging and turbocharging cars as well i think it's like something everyone should be able to do because i think that's the fun part of being modifying car but i really do believe this car naturally aspirated with just 240 horsepower 230 or maybe 220 now because it's been such a long time this car came out it's still a phenomenal piece of engineering and the way it drives the way it, it's just incredible like overall it's just incredible even the even if the car is in a stock form like everything is stock and you know, like I think that that was my first time. I I really liked the S two thousand. I probably fell in love with it over some time because you know I, I used to see this guy like until I was in high school every day washing his car. And I used to go and talk to him all the time. And you know, I even told my dad that I'm gonna buy this car one day. I uh, bought my first one when I was twenty years old, and since then I've had six S two thousands. This is the one I'm sitting in, is the sixth one, and I've got another one across me on that side, which is my seventh one. All the other ones I've had, they have been pretty much standard. I've never done anything to the engine, I always kept it stock. Um, my previous one, I changed the coilovers on one of them and the tires, um, sorry, and the wheels and the tires, but that's about it. But these ones, I've taken it a bit more extreme, so. Um, we'll quickly talk about this S2000 now, considering I've already told you why I fell in love with the S2000. So just to recap quickly, like the reason I fell in love with the S2000 was the speedometer, the red button, the red valve cover, the center console, the red interior at that time it had. But to be honest, even when I look at the black interior right now, I have, 
I still think it is a phenomenal thing. Uh, I still believe it's a phenomenal thing, and I, I don't, I don't really have, you know, a lot else to say. But how, why I, I, why I love this car right now is for exact the same reasons. I mean, every time I look at the speedo, and I'm like, dude, this is unique. Every time I look at the button, it says engine start on it. It is unique. Every time I look at the valve cover, well, my valve cover is not red anymore. It's it is a funky ass color. So <laughs> it's still pretty unique to me. I can go on and on and on talk about why I like this car, to be honest. And it's never going to end. It's just beautiful. It's incredible. It's phenomenal. I will introduce this car to you guys. I mean, this one is a 2002 Honda S2000. In States, it's called a AP1 because you guys have AP2 with 2.2 liter engine. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. So this specific model is a pre-facelift AP1 in UK. Same two liter, same two liter engine. Um, I haven't done much to it. Um, I, I did a. It, it used to have a KN induction kit. Um, I sold that one. I had a bunch of pipes at home. I made my own kit until I have some other big plans for this car. Uh, the other thing I've done to the engine is I've removed the air pump because I'm going to be using a AEM V2 ECU. Um, and apparently, as far as I can tell, that at, well, once you change to that ECU, your air pump is pretty much redundant. I mean, it's not really necessary. So I just deleted that thing anyway. You've already seen the wheels and the tires. They are race engineering, 18 by 10s, offsets around 35, 265, 35, 18 tires. Um, not the perfect setup for this specific S2000 because I've got CG fenders at the front and back. Um, so I can probably put another, like I can probably use 18 by 11 offset, like 20 or something for the back and the front. I can probably run a bit of more camber, um, which I'm going to do it anyway. But I have a feeling that I really want to put a 18 by nine and a half inch wheel offset around 35 as well to have that, you know, like that perfect look. Uh, Besides that, brakes are pretty much stock. There's not much going on in the brakes. I mean, it's got EBC brake discs, EBC yellow stuff pads. Not the greatest for the track. Um, they fade pretty quick. That's not something I would recommend to go for if you are a bit of an aggressive driver or aggressive breaker, how I am. Spoiler is great. I love that spoiler. It gives that a bit of a unique look. It's got a Jay's Racing rear bumper at the back. I do have a front bumper to go for this car, which I'm going to be doing probably in the next video. I also have a Jay's Racing um, BGW, the big wing. Um, I don't know which one it is. I think it's type one. Um, I am not really sure, but yeah, I've got that to go on. The other thing I've done for interiors, I've changed the gear knob to a Skunk 2 weighted one, which is a pretty decent gear knob, um, very similar design to a stock one, except that it's slightly heavier uh the other thing i've done is oh i've broken this yeah it doesn't close anymore which is oh it closes but i mean this thing is broken i've done i've put that camera bracket there um to put a little action cam um which i use every now and then um, to record uh, uh yeah i mean i don't know if you guys have uh noticed in the videos in, in a little bit of the videos it's got a single exit Kaki motor exhaust system. It's got a high flow cap with an aftermarket exhaust manifold. I've no idea what it, uh, what brand the manifold is. I've no idea what brand the cat is. Um, I do know the exhaust system is Kaki motor and it's a single exit, so it's it's pretty loud. It it, it can get loud. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, there's not much going on at the moment with the car. But I've got some really cool updates coming up for the next video. The car will be looking a bit different compared to how it looks right now. Hopefully next time, you know, we'll be able to, next for next vlog, I'm 100% sure that we'll be taking this car for a proper drive. Um, I need to look for some nice, really nice roads around this area. I have found few roads, but they're not really that, you know, long, like it's like a 20, 30 second drive. Like, but I, want, I, want, I want to be like, I want to be able to drive this car for a bit longer than that. So that way you'll be able to see what this car is about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Get your friends to do it. Get your mates to do it, especially if they're into Hondas, if they're into S2000s. And yeah, 
I will see you in the next vlog. Probably. Maybe. I'm not sure. Please take care. See you. Bye bye. Stressful moment, man. Stressful moment. Woohoo!